Welcome to Tool Time at Gidring Conservatory. Is there anything better than freshly made mashed potatoes? So here's how to make them at home. So I have boiled up the potatoes, and if you notice, I didn't cut the potatoes too small. When you cut them really small, they tend to take on too much water and they're not as potato-y. And we have two ways of making smooth mashed potatoes. One, this is called a food mill, which has a disc in here, and, and it comes with several different type sizes of discs. I put the potatoes in the food mill and have it over the my, my bowl and all I do is I just turn the wheel around and this is a great thing if you're doing a massive quantity of mashed potatoes because you can really mash them up rather quickly. The other method to do them is called a potato ricer and it's called a ricer because the potato comes out in little rice sized pellets and all I do is take my uh, boiled potato and smash it in. It looks like a giant garlic press. And look at how fluffy those potatoes are. When you pass your potatoes through a ricer or a food mill, you don't need to whip it in a mixer because they're all ready to go and all fluffy. We also have a potato ricer with a larger hopper and stainless steel, which where you can do some quantity of potato because it comes out on both sides. So I hope you make beautiful mashed potatoes. The best way I think to flavor them is with a ton of roasted garlic cloves, plenty of salt, butter, butter, and a little bit of milk. We make cooking fun at Kitchen Conservatory.